Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video today guys Uh, I'm gonna be talking about what happened in the last video. So it was April Fool's this video was supposed to go up on uh, April Fool's but I didn't know it was April Fool's. So I, I went online, I saw Blake uploaded his car joke or whatever, and I was like, oh my God, it's April Fool's. I missed it last year. I wanted to do it the year before, but I didn't. I was like, I gotta do it this year. I just have to. What better way than to make it kind of to something realistic? A lot of you guys have been mentioning the music I use. I'm gonna get copyright, I'm gonna get screwed over. I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and do that. And a lot of you guys are super gullible. It was super funny. I was getting emails, text messages, calls from family. They were like, what's going on, Nor? You actually getting sued? I'm just like, I mean, <laughs> not really. I mean, the thing is, if you guys scroll out of the comment section, you know it's a joke immediately. Like, as soon as you go to the comment section, you don't even have to look at the date. But if you go to that conversation, everyone's like, oh my god, April Fool's, you didn't get me, all this good stuff. So, was, yeah. shout out to you guys who caught it, um, and for all my family and all that stuff that didn't catch. Even my brother came running into my room screaming. He was freaking out. I was like, it's okay. By the way, guys, so you guys been mentioning that you wanted me to start a GoFundMe. I saw a lot of you guys have been asking, like, you know, want to go ahead and support the channel. Um, you should start, like, a PayPal link or something, a GoFundMe. And I'm just, like, to myself, like, I'm not, I'm blessed. Like, I'm already blessed with my life. I don't want to be asking, you know, for money here and there. Um, because I know a lot of you guys are still trying to get your own BMWs and I have an M3. So I am blessed. I'm beyond blessed. This car is costing me way over than what I can afford. Um, so I just decided, I was like, you know what? I'm going to start one. If you guys cannot afford even your own BMW, do not worry about it. If you guys want to support the channel, you will be shot out in the next video. Um, and, you know, uh, if you DM me on Instagram, I'll shout you out on Instagram as well. Because I really do appreciate whoever that wants to donate. Basically, the funds are going to be going toward the paint job of the car. I painted my dream color. And uh, I've never had a car painted because it's very expensive. Um, so if you guys want to support me, first link in the description. That would mean a lot. But yeah, I'm just going to stop it right there. I'm not going to talk too much about that stuff. Let's get into the actual video that was supposed to go out on April. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, swap you guys back to uh, two days hey guys, ago. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're working on the three, the M ah, I was gonna say 335. I was going to say 35. The M3, guys. So working on the M3. Super excited, super stoked. We got most of the front end together last night. Um, so today means we're gonna have to get to it. But before we actually start the video, I'm just gonna give a special shout out to those of you guys who purchased decals to support the channel. So these two people purchased a decal and a push button start. If you guys wanna get a push button start or a decal, check the link down below. But yeah, first shout out goes to Bart Salisbury. Shout out to you. And the second one goes to Peter Vebo. Vebo, I think. Or something like that. I'm sorry for probably completely butchering that, but shout out to you guys. Thank you guys so much for seeing the decal and the push button start to support the channel. Every little thing helps, especially your boys getting in debt, but you know, it don't matter because your boy's building his dream car and uh, and just taking you guys on this journey with me is just worth every single penny. So anyways, um, I talked to the guy at the shop. He says he's going to be doing a couple things new to his shop. Once he gets his shop all together, I'm going to go down there and make a video with him, you know, talk about, you know, a couple things he has planned for his shop, a couple things I have planned for my car, work out some deals. Um, so super stoked about that. But in the meantime, as you guys see, it's, it's still missing a lot of parts, so it needs the fender. Honestly, it doesn't really need much. You just need like the fender, the headlights, and the other fender. And I think the whole front end will be pretty much done, other than, uh, oh, we gotta mount the horns. See if we can do that today as well. And it's a lot of little miscellaneous things that I'm still waiting to come in the mail. Like, I still need to get the rest of these LCI taillights. I did end up removing them, the, the OEM ones. So I'm getting the LCI ones. But I think the job of today's video is trying to make this M3 look like an M3. All right, well, on this side, guys, we're gonna go ahead and remove this. So we gotta unbolt that, unbolt these bolts, um, figure out what's going down here, and then see if we can mount a fender on this side. This is the biggest concern side because this side never even had a fender. Um, so it's a little bit of a bigger concern on this side to see if everything lines up. But hopefully we can get everything lined up fluidly um, with, the, with the hood and everything. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Alright, so I pretty much uh, I made all the clearance I need. I don't want to go ahead and remove those bolts down there. I mean, this is all the clearance that I need for the fender. So I'm gonna need to straighten these out accordingly and uh, whatever I need to do. And also, I still need to take out this bolt right here. I still need to take out all these broken parts so I can go ahead and apply the new fender. Got a couple bolts right there. So yeah, let's just get to it. I will call all the blows, cause you Oh, 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 
All right guys, I'm still working on some uh, hood to fender gaps. I'm still working on trying to perfect that. But what I'm really loving right now is this line right here. It's looking really good. Um, I'm not seeing any issues. I hope you guys don't see any either. But yeah, it looks really good. Really fluid lines. I've been working on that. Here, just a slight little gap. So I'm trying to like kind of move this over. I'm, I'm trying to work with it with the hood. So yeah, let me go ahead and just work on this and I'll show you guys the gaps when I finish. All right, guys, since it's black and it's super dirty, I think it deserves a wash so you guys can see the progress. Look at the door all assembled, the mirror, the, uh, what's it called, the side skirts back in there perfectly. And you guys can see from the fender at this angle, looks beautiful. And I'm not just saying from this angle, from all angles, you guys can see the gaps look really good all the way across. Uh, man, oh my God, I just love this color. And you guys can see right here, uh, finally got the hood and the fender to all look perfect. And right over here, where it kind of comes together, it's perfect. That took me forever trying to get that straight, especially because uh, especially because there was a light a headlight bracket kind of broken back there, the thing you guys were seeing uh, right there, but I finally got it situated. I got it bent back to where the headlight should get mounted. You guys can see that looks really good. That was a pain in my ass. Um, and all the way across looks really good. Super stoked on that. I found out where I mount the horn. Uh, if I grab the horns right here, uh, you can go ahead and just mount the horn right there. So that's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and mount that so we can plug those wires in. So we'll just have wires dangling and then that's gonna go in once I actually get the weather guards. I haven't got the weather guards yet. I do plan on getting it, just not yet. It's not gonna be raining anytime soon, so I'm not really too worried about that right now. As for this side, um, probably gonna do this in another video, mainly because I took me forever to do that side and I wanna move the car around, put it in the garage so I can work on it up there. More light, more everything. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and install the horn. Let's go ahead and install the LCI tail lights. I don't have all the pieces yet. I just got, I think, two more parts. Uh, I'm still waiting to get one more. I'm trying to find a good deal. I'm buying all these from different people. Um, so I'm trying to get these the best deal possible. So let's go ahead and install the LCI tail lights. See how they look. Um, I have the outers, and I'm probably just gonna put the pre-LCI inners because I don't wanna have an LCI inner and a pre-LCI inner. Uh, it's gonna look kind of weird, so I'm gonna have regular inners and then LCI outers for now. Um, at least I will get the car ready so I can go clean it up, make it look as best as possible for you guys, and of course for the thumbnail. But yeah, super stoked. Let's go ahead and uh, sit you guys down so we can install these taillights. Alright guys, for future reference, all there is, you just pretty much pull that out and it just comes out. So just a little bit of force, just comes out and I go ahead and slap on the new one now from the pre-LCI so it'll fit my car with no issues. All right, so these are pre-LCI inners and these are LCI outers. We will, up, I already have this one. I just don't have this one, so we'll do this down the road. Uh, but as of now, I mean, it looks pretty good. You really can't too, notice too much uh, until it's on, but you know. <laughs> All right guys, also I have a small issue with this intake, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole into it and put a zip tie. Uh, it doesn't have a hole because the hole was broken off from the accident and these air ducts cost about a hundred and something dollars. So if that's the only problem, I'm just gonna drill a hole and just zip tie it, call it a day. All right guys, so we got the horns installed. Thank God everything bolted on pro properly. We got the tail lights, we got the fender, and we got the hood all matched up, looking great. The gaps on everything on this side is looking perfect. So I'm super stoked on that. So now, uh, let's go ahead and take the car outside, give her a good wash, uh, probably clean the interior, use some Goo Gone, and just try to get all this dirt stuff off of it and some of this sticky stuff all over the trim here, because I'm not liking it. Probably gonna take off this thing and add it to my collection. I don't know if you guys know, but all the cars I'm ever gonna buy from the auction, uh, I'm keeping it right here. Uh, so I only have, I only purchased two other cars from the auction so far. But yeah, I'm just gonna pretty much put it all through there when I finish through there, and if I ever buy more and more, you never know. My goal is to save as many BMWs as possible. Um, some I might sell, some I might keep, but for, in this case, this M car is my dream car, so this is never gonna go, so don't worry. Uh, let's go ahead and jump it, because it's dead again. I'm gonna go ahead and code the battery to the car, 
so at least I know um, the battery's coded to the car, and if it keeps dying from that, then I know it's not because of coding, it could be from something else. Uh, but I'm starting to think it just could be because of the coding. With M3s and most BMWs, you need to code the batteries into the car. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm gonna get my dad's car and jump it. I don't know if he's gonna like that, but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna go ahead and put this stuff to the hood too, just in case no water is technically supposed to go in there. I'm just gonna throw this stuff. Uh, in there and then go ahead and wash the car and this side never came with the car unfortunately But probably gonna get new ones on both sides anyway. I know I'm stalling on cleaning up the car But I want to go ahead and clean up the garage first All right guys, I went ahead put my car in accessory mode So what I'm gonna do now is open up Carly and uh, this is why I think this app is one of the most useful apps in the world because you can also program your batteries. So we're gonna go ahead and just connect it to my E92. <sighs> All right, so I connect it to the car and I'm just gonna go ahead and find battery, which is right there. Continue, register, same battery, register, new type battery. Okay, we'll go with that. I think I'm doing it in the right order. Not 100%, but regardless, battery registration is finished. Okay, so as long as it's registered the battery, I got no errors. <laughs> I got the check engine as soon as it started it up, so I'm gonna go ahead and run the codes as the car is started right now. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, got a check engine. So, uh, gonna go ahead and diagnose it one more time, and if I get nothing again, I think it's just because of the battery. I actually just went ahead and cleared it. Uh, I'm gonna see if it comes back. All right, well, no check engine right now, so that's a good sign. Uh, maybe just because of the battery. So I went ahead and cleared it, and it's not coming back, so. Look so far so good boys. Just the stupid airbag lights and some stupid headlight lights. That's nothing new. All right guys, so what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go ahead and go through the entire car and just get all the stupid little sticky stuff off. So we're gonna use some Goo Gone, stuff like that, all over the car, and then once we do that, we'll give it a clean car wash, and then after that, we'll take some pictures, and you know, that's that's progress. So we did a lot of work today, guys, and it's looking so good. It's just super dirty, and I just wanna clean it up for once since we haven't cleaned it yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, you say at least it was worth the try. So this is day two. Uh, I decided, you know what? I'm actually gonna record you guys a video. I don't want to go ahead and not record you guys. I mean, not not, not like not record. I was just gonna try to record like uh, as a separate video. But as I was editing the video last night, I noticed that it wasn't as lengthy as I would want it to be. So I was like, you know, I said let's go ahead and throw the fender on that side, get the whole front end pretty much assembled, other than the headlights and the bumper, so we can get to all that stuff when that stuff comes in the mail. I'm still waiting on the headlight brackets, but we're so close to putting this car almost together, and then getting some wheels on it, and then going down, getting everything straightened out. Pretty much fixing up all the little buttons before we actually get it wrapped. And for those of you guys, a lot of you guys are saying do not wrap the car. Just know, this is temporary. I'm just wrapping it like probably some some color from Vivid Wrap. Probably gonna cost you maximum like two, three hundred bucks for like just the summer. Have a presentable car for Beamer Fest. And then after that, while well, I pay off all the stuff that I'm doing, like the rod bearings and because this car did cost me a lot. So I need to I need to catch up on all those other things, make sure you know I'm financially safe, and then we're gonna go ahead and paint the car until I goes blue. So uh shout out to the person that tried spelling it out for me. I probably still butchered it, but shout out to you for spelling it out. Uh thank you so much. But yeah, the car is warmed up right now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys in the back, give you guys a few revs. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the fender because uh, we're trying to line up this car to be perfect.
Yes, I just cannot get over the sound of this thing. Oh my god, we definitely need to get an exhaust on her. But from here, guys, baby steps, baby steps. We're, we're, we're doing pretty good on the car so far. So let me go ahead and show you guys the car because uh, you guys haven't seen it kind of somewhat clean. It's still not in perfect condition. I'm not done yet. Still need a few more washes for it's perfect. But uh, because I will have to do a detailed wash before we actually start wrapping her. But let me go ahead and show you guys how it looks so far. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth. Working. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and start taking off this fender. We're gonna have to take off this light, cause we're gonna have to reuse that. And uh, yeah, so let's take it off. Hopefully, you can just realign the new fender. The new fender is silver. Go ahead and show you guys how that looks. It is silver, so I'm gonna have like one blue fender, one silver fender, but even the bumper is black. The rest of the car is gonna be black, so it's just the fenders, unfortunately, that are not the same color. If it was all black, I probably would've just rocked the car as is for now, but everything is pretty scratched up as well. That's why I figured instead of getting the whole car repainted, because it's gonna need paint regardless, uh, instead of getting it all repainted black, I'm just gonna go ahead and repaint it uh, my dream color, because it's gonna get painted, it's gonna get painted. Might as well paint it something you love, you know? So yeah, let me set you guys down, and uh, let's start taking this fender off, hopefully, it's not too hard. Just like that, the fender is off. So let's go ahead and move the side marker and reuse it. This side unfortunately has this thing, so it's kind of a pain in the booty, but still work around it, thank goodness. Uh, so we just need to remove uh, this real quick. I'm gonna try to figure this out, uh, maybe because I wanna know how to remove it uh, from the outside as well, because I'm gonna have to remove it again uh, to do the wrapping. So it's a good thing when you also work on your own cars, you get to learn about your own cars. So you actually get to see from behind uh, how the tabs look, and uh, it looks like it'll be an absolute pain uh, to pull it out from the front. I think this is something you actually have to do from the back. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably actually not gonna put this in. It'd probably be a smart idea not to put this in until we wrap it. All right guys, so we just went ahead, removed the fender and everything. So, so far so good. Wow, it was super bright all of a sudden. Huh. Anyways, now I'm gonna actually put on the new fender, but I'm not gonna put on the side marker, uh, mainly because I don't wanna mess up the fender while I'm trying to take this off again. Uh, it is kind of like a 50-50 chance of breaking this thing. It's not as easy to take off from the outside as it is from the inside. So this side, uh, you know, is kind of a pain in the butt. I'll have to get my hand behind this and be super painful. While the other side doesn't have that water tank, so I can actually put my hand from behind it and pop it out. So it doesn't matter that I put the other side in. Uh, it was actually already in, so it's fine. But for this side, I'm gonna hold off till I wrap it. And uh, when it gets painted, the body shop will take care of it at that point, so I won't need to really worry about that. But yeah, so uh, putting on a fender is three times harder, or 10 times harder than taking off a fender, because you actually have to start aligning stuff now. So let's go ahead, throw on the fender, and hopefully we can start lining this up, and hopefully uh, it bolts back together fairly easy. You say at least it was worth a try. All right, guys, so I'm working on that. Oh, dear, I'm about to fall over. I'm working on that headlight bracket, but as you guys can see right here, uh, I got it pretty much fitted perfectly, perfectly flush. The gaps are perfect all the way around. And uh, right here was like one of the hardest parts. Uh, I think I did a pretty good job. 
looks fair all the way across so come all the way down here looks really good so um all i gotta do now which i'm, I'm not gonna plug in the light for now i'm just gonna go ahead and put together all the wheel guard stuff put together that headlight bracket put the wheel back on and at least everything should be assembled other than that light and the front end but uh hopefully we can get this all together so it'll look you know pretty damn close and also i forgot we gotta put on the side skirt so we got a lot to do still let's go ahead and assemble it all so we can see the final product Alright guys, I let it idle again for another uh, five minutes. I don't know what's up, but I just love hearing it rev, so I hope you guys do too. By the way, those tail lights are not plugged in, so don't worry about the outer ones not being lit up. It's because they're not plugged in. I don't have the conversion cable just yet. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that little rev rev. That was, oh my god, it sounds so good. So we got the fender on. We did the gaps to the best of our ability. I think it looks great. Um, it's just really throwing me off with this color. I really don't like how this is completely thrown off from the black. Because at least the blue kind of like, I mean kind on camera actually looks pretty bad. But I mean, to be honest, it's kind of like midnight blue and black. It's not like too popping, but on this side, it's, oh dear. Oh man, I'm always gonna kick my ass. Anyways, uh, yeah. But that's not, the, that's not the case. We got everything hooked up. We got the lines and everything perfect so that's all that matters um so now we're actually ready as soon as we get the headlight brackets in we're gonna slap in both headlights hopefully they'll work no issues and you know we'll get to go to throw on the bumper the bumper needs a little bit of bond to work so we'll go ahead and work on that in the next video it's gonna be quite a bit of work on that bumper but once we get that bumper good and we get those two headlights in the car should be ready to be sanding down and everything and then uh we need to get a new windshield but then other than that uh, as soon as those cables come in, I get that last tail light and I get pretty much uh, the front assembled. The car is going to be in the most beautiful state. As soon as it's all together, we're going to be super close to getting this car registered and getting some wheels on it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys understand about the whole thing about the wrap. The wrap is just to buy me some time for Beamer Fest. I want to get this car to Beamer Fest this year. I've never went to Beamer Fest and I want to see some of you guys there. But yeah, for, without further ado, if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to smash that like button. If we get this video to a thousand likes, I'll try to get it out as soon as possible for the front end so we can have this whole car pieced together. So if you guys want to see that, a thousand likes and I will make that happen ASAP for you guys. Otherwise, I will have to hold back just a little bit to focus on my schoolwork again because this week is starting and you guys know that your boy's grinding. And the reason your boy's grinding, I'm just going to explain it all in this video. Um, it's because it's the last semester I need before I can get into business. Uh, business is impacted to the university that I go to. So I need to grind my booty off. So that's what I've been doing. But if you guys really want that video, a thousand likes and I don't give a crap. We're going to be throwing on that bumper. We're going to do the work and we're going to piece it all together. Um, so yeah, without further ado, remember to stay humble guys. Love y'all so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.